Hi everybody, and welcome from beautiful Western Massachusetts. This weekend, I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time outside because the weather was absolutely beautiful. So I did a few home improvement projects, and one of them was to take an old rusty wheelbarrow and turn it into a beautiful planter for the garden. This really wonderful woman that I met on Facebook, um, an organizational site, showed me this gorgeous picture of a wheelbarrow, and I looked at it and said, Oh yeah, challenge accepted. So I'm gonna run you through a couple of steps on how to take an old rusty wheelbarrow, one I found on Facebook Marketplace for $5, and turn it into a lovely planter that you will enjoy all season long. For our project list today, you'll need a wheelbarrow or a large container. You might wanna use like a half barrel or a metal bucket or something pretty large so it makes a significant impact. You'll need some spray paint. Um, I happen to use two colors, green and white, but you can use anything that makes you happy. Um, a few bags of potting soil. Try to get something high quality. It might have vermiculite in it that allows the water to stick around a little bit longer, but don't get anything too cheap. Definitely use the good stuff because it's gonna make a difference for plant growth. Um, some paper bags. Um, I actually used a lawn and leaf bag that I cut up because I use that as a mask for my paint. Um, a big tarp because you're using spray paint and it's going to travel and you don't want to ruin your grass or whatever you're working, whatever surface you're working on. Painter's tape because you can tape stuff off um, to do your spray painting. And a variety of annuals and grasses that give you inspiration. And last but not least, you're not going to believe this, gloves and a mask. You have those at home? these days probably do <laughs> okay so that will be our project list so this step spraying out your container can be easy or it can be difficult it depends on what you choose uh, some people might have to use a sandpaper over the surface of whatever they're spraying because it is so rough and bumpy luckily although my wheelbarrow looks really nasty there's only a few little holes and imperfections in it, so I really didn't have to sandpaper it down. I did decide that instead of trying to get the bolt off, which was absolutely impossible, that I was just going to use the paper to section off portions of the wheelbarrow and spray paint it like that. I also used painter's tape around the handles and bars to try to uh, make sure that the spray paint was relatively even. Sure, there are mistakes in mine, but I don't think anybody's going to be laying on their back, sticking their head underneath my wheelbarrow to make sure there weren't white speckles on my green bottom. So I'm pretty grateful with how it turned out, and um, I think you will be too. So when it comes time to fill your container, you want to use a nice, quality potting soil, either something like Vigoro or miracle Grow. The average bag costs about anywhere from seven to $10, but it goes a long way. I used an entire bag and a little bit extra on my wheelbarrow. I filled it to about just shy of two inches from the brim. When it's time to fill your container, have some fun. I start from the center and work my way out, and I start with something tall like a decorative grass. I add potato vines to add a little bit of variety in color. Then some dahlias, because they're always gorgeous and they bloom constantly. Petunias that are wave petunias, so they will spread. Million bells, vinca, a trailing vine, lantana, marigolds, and nasturtium. I threw a couple of other things in there too, but I don't know all the names. See, I'm not perfect. Anyway, as long as you fill it up and make it nice and full, as the season goes on, it will get thicker and thicker. Just one last thing. As you put your plants into the container, make sure you loosen up the roots just a little bit so they could grow freely and spread. So in general, these plants should get thicker and fuller throughout the season and have color pretty much all the time. Just make sure that you water them frequently because they will dry out very quickly. And also, it would be very, very smart to feed your plants. miracle Grow offers a great option of different types of plant foods that are used um, for long-term and short-term purposes. And they're not too expensive, and I guarantee that will make your entire garden look so much more full and beautiful. 
So that's it for now, my friends. I hope your project turned out as beautiful as mine did. And as I have that wonderful motto, your best is your perfect. So I hope you're happy because you just did a perfect job. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye.